government secrets, even some information on you hidden away. Carried around by trucks like these, you might have seen on local roads or highways, but do you know where they're going? Como Force Mary Nan traveled across the country to find the answers. When it comes to protecting national secrets, the government goes deep underground, a virtually indestructible mine filled with files, patents, and secrets. It's the place Bill Gates chose to protect some priceless artifacts, and I got to see what few eyes have seen inside Iron Mountain. Drive an hour north of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. It's rural, rolling pastures, lazy cows, not much to see. Or so you think. There's security cameras all out here. Yes. Iron Mountain is one of the most protected places on Earth. The Yellow Gates guard an abandoned mine, three miles long and two miles wide, 220 feet underground, with vault after vault of historic treasures and government secrets. What we have in here, these rooms are between 25 and 30,000 square feet each about 600 feet long. This is where we store boxed premium hard copy uh, at this underground facility. Just paper, the good old-fashioned paper, old paper, paper document. That is correct. It's what's on those papers that makes them incredibly important. This is where the government keeps patents of countless inventions. The Social Security Administration is here. If you're a retired federal employee, your file is down here too. There's an endless maze of dark corridors that stretch into blackness. Vaults don't hold fancy jewelry or rare paintings. Vice President Chuck Dowdy tells me it needs to be worth a whole lot more. So we are looking at the future home of? This will be the future home of Smithsonian uh, Institute, one of their records facilities. Iron Mountain guards real records, too. More than 700,000 original master tapes of some of the most famous and hard-to-find audio recordings. We have Frank Sinatra's original single, Night and Day. Night and Day. These are the recordings used to make the CDs we buy at the store. From Michael Jackson Studio Masters to Seattle's own Dave Matthews Band, even the king himself. Here's an older... Elvis with some tunes on it. There are dark secrets in the mountain, too. The charred evidence from United Flight 93 brought down by terrorists on 9-11 is heavily guarded in one of the underground vaults. It's no secret who their biggest client is. The biggest client by number of employees would be uh, sections of the federal government. There are branches of the government I've never seen before, like the U.S. Investigation Services. But Dowdy is very tight-lipped about who does what and what's stored within these walls. Do you ask them, what do you want us to hold for you? We do. And, and actually, our customers are, are very forthright in telling us whether they want us to publicize their names or they don't want anybody to know their names. 95% of their customers demand complete secrecy, and guarding the information is Iron Mountain's greatest strength. Iron Mountain is like an underground city. They have their own water, their own sewage, their own fire department, and their own security team. And management tells me they have never, ever had a security breach. That flawless record is why the world's richest man keeps some of the world's greatest treasures here. Bill Gates' company, Corvus, owns the rights to millions of historic images, one-of-a-kind originals. Corvus preserves them in Iron Mountain. These pictures are more valuable than diamonds, and they're treated that way. Go into the vault. The images are stored in a specially designed moisture-proof vault the size of a football field. So here we are inside the vault, and it's cold. It is. It's, it's cold in it here. Is. It's 45 degrees in here, 35% uh, humidity. And what we have stored in here are uh, over 20 million images. To keep track, manager Ann Hartman divided the images into subject files, from personalities to celebrities to events. All are glimpses into our history. Here he is. Let's see. From old Hollywood's Alfred Hitchcock to a rare photo of an infamous tyrant. This is Hitler as a baby. This is an undated photograph. 
Some images are more than 100 years old before film was even invented. The glass negatives are carefully wrapped in foil and stored in wooden crates. We found snapshots of Seattle's history, too. Here's Pine Street before the condo boom. And, of course, our famous Space Needle. The true treasures, what Anne calls the prizes, are frozen forever. So they're in boxes, specially packaged, so they're sealed. And in it, we would have images such as Marilyn Monroe's skirt blowing up and Einstein with his tongue sticking out. What price tag would you put on history? Whether it's a picture or a patent, it's all here in Iron Mountain, where secret treasures are truly buried beneath a Pennsylvania pasture. I think that, that the best anyone's been able to do is that it's priceless. Um, and certainly, I probably couldn't do any better. So you might be wondering why Pennsylvania? Well, Iron Mountain is in Pennsylvania because of stability, zero earthquakes. The facility has to be fail-safe because Iron Mountain is also a relocation center for many major companies in case of an emergency. Well, it's reassuring to know it's all safe down there, yes. I guess. Oh, so Bill Gates has a vault. Mm -hmm. Can anybody buy a vault if they want You know, one? I asked that if money can buy a vault. But the fact is, Elizabeth Taylor herself wouldn't be able to get a vault for her jewelry collection if she wanted. The value of all of her diamonds don't even come close to the value of the information that's stored in Iron Mountain. Because if it isn't vital, it just doesn't get a vault. Well, if you could have access, you could spend the rest of your life you down there. Sure going through and I know they stuff. didn't show me everything. Oh, fascinating. <laughs> Thanks, Mary. The storm set a points.